you guys welcome back to diane puro Guanajuato's channel it's your girl lexi today i am taking over my sister-in-law's channel and i'm going to show you guys one of my favorite crock pot recipes as you know diane is doing some simple crock pot recipes with you guys so i decided or we decided that i'm going to go ahead and hop on here and show you guys one of my favorites so the recipe that we're going to be doing today is the mississippi pot roast so these are the ingredients that you're going to need and then of course you need a nice piece of chuck roast. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started for you guys. So before I forget, I just wanna give a warm welcome to all the new conchas and all of the old conchas as well. Um, so this recipe right here is one of my favorites. Again, I did this while I was on keto um, and it just stuck with me. Now you don't have to be on keto to enjoy this, but you guys, this is super simple. You guys are gonna trip out on how easy this is. You guys can have a quick and bomb meal for your family, super quick. So these are the ingredients that I have. I have um, garlic powder, black pepper, pepperoncini peppers, butter, um, Hidden Valley Ranch, and au jus gravy. So what I like to do, this stuff is optional, um, but this is what I like to do because I'm extra. Um, I like to get some black pepper and garlic. I usually use onion powder as well, but I don't have onion powder. So we're gonna go ahead and just go in with these. And I kind of like to just sprinkle that on the roast. Now I don't add any salt or anything, only because there's salt in these ingredients. So you don't wanna over salt your meat. So I'm just gonna dust that on the roast and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this bad boy and I'm gonna put it in our pan back here that I have I have some pan, a pan with some oil so we're gonna go ahead and sear the roast before we go ahead and put it into the crock pot so we're gonna grab our roast and I'm gonna put the side that I sprinkled the seasoning on into the pan And we're gonna let that bad boy get nice and seared up. And then the side that doesn't have the seasoning, I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle my garlic powder and black pepper on there. And this roast is freaking amazing. Like, this is one of the things that I learned while I was on keto that I fell in love with. And this roast right here, I believe it's about two and a half pounds. Um, of course, if you have a larger family, then you can get a bigger roast. If it's just you, I know they do sell smaller roasts. If you have like a butcher or something, you can just come to give you a smaller size. So we're gonna go ahead and just get our meat nice and browned. And then I'll be back once that's done. All right, you guys. And when you flip your roast over, you want it to look something like this. You want that nice, gold crisp brown popping on it and the reason why you want to do this is just to add that extra flavor this step is optional but i highly recommend that you sear your meat just to give it that really nice flavor so i have already flipped this around um you want to kind of do this i do at least four to five minutes on each side um but you can do it to your liking so I'm gonna go ahead and let this get nice and seared up and then we're gonna jump into the next step. So our roast is ready to go in the crock pot. So we're gonna go ahead and add this bad boy into the crock pot and then I'm gonna add the ingredients and y'all are about to trip out on how easy this is. So we've got our roast in the pot. We're gonna go ahead and add our stick of butter. Now I'm using unsalted butter. And again, you guys try to use unsalted butter just because the packet of gravy and the packet of ranch have a lot of salt, so you don't want to overdo it with the sodium. And then I'm going to grab the packet of the Hidden Valley Ranch. Now with the ranch, you can use the whole packet. My little tip is that you use at least three quarters of it and you save some in there. So I have I have about this much in there. The reason why I do that is because of the salt. Um, sometimes it can come out a little salty, so what I like to do is I kind of like to hold back on the ranch a little bit. 
And then once you separate the meat, like once the meat is cooked and it's fallen apart, if it needs a little bit more, you can add some, but I'd rather have less and add in than have a lot of salt and then try to take it out. It's way easier to do it that way. And then I'm gonna grab our au jus gravy mix and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on in there. And then I'm gonna get our pepperoncinis. And I'm going to add about five to six of them, depending on the size, which it looks like these are actually really nice sized. So we're just going to drop these bad boys in there. And if you cannot find pepperoncinis, I've learned that jalapenos work just as well, just because I've actually ran out of these and didn't realize it till I'm already cooking. So um, jalapenos work just as well. So I'm gonna close this up here. And then the inside of your pot should look something like this. This is literally all that you need, I promise you. It looks crazy, it sounds crazy. I used to think that this was weird because I'm like, how does ranch gravy and preppers taste? Like that sounds weird, but trust me, this is bomb.com. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on this bad boy. And then I'm gonna put it to cook for six hours. Um, if you wanna cook faster, you can do four hours. I usually do six. Um, if you're at work or anything or you're away, eight hours is cool too. But usually when I deal with a roast, I like to go from six to eight hours. I don't really do four hours. So we're gonna go ahead and get this on and then we'll be back to see how this is looking in about six hours. Is that my conchas my conchitas what you guys are gonna see here um, is definitely it's a three ingredient recipe that I will be doing like I had mentioned in another video um, using my crock pot so we're gonna do peach cobbler yes with these three ingredients we have sliced peaches right in a can we have um, you can choose whatever type of butter you like but they have to be the stick um, I got sweet cream buttered unsalted and then obviously you do need um, a cake mix, classic yellow. Some did say that they use uh, Bisquick, but I'm gonna go ahead and just follow this because this is the way I know how to do it. So wait, wait, wait though, don't go yet. I have a trick. So there's a three ingredient items. I mean, three ingredient, I'm adding a fourth one, which are golden cracker crumbs. I, I like that crisp. When I eat a peach cobbler, I want to taste the crisp. And I'm also adding to the peaches some brown sugar. So I did a twist. You already know me. I don't follow the rules. This is from three going to five. So once again, we got the butter. It has to be the stick kind. Peaches in the can. The graham crapper. Uh, <laughs> sure it's classic yellow and then of course the brown sugar which you will see next I want to go ahead and thank everybody everybody that's been showing me love especially on that mukbang that I just did um, the love was wow it, it was speechless amazing welcome to the new subscribers welcome to the concha crew thank you for the love and the support of course I did mention I am NOT a mukbang I will think about here and there putting in mukbangs I am a vlogger, I love to vlog. Um, my vlogs are usually different, but being with what's going on right now, this is what we're doing for you. Giving you guys some recipes of what we do at home. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get this started. We're gonna start prepping. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it is that I do the peaches with the brown sugar. But as I always mention, this is the way I do stuff. If you do this differently, drop it in the comments. I would love to see how you do it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, obviously, open up the can of the peaches we're gonna throw it in here in a mixing bowl and if you have a bigger family you can definitely get two of these three of these 
you can make it in the portions for your family. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some of this right here, Domino Dark Brown Sugar, and that's pure cane sugar. So we're gonna go ahead and don't ask for the measurements because as I mentioned, in the Hispanic households, we just kind of just go by look. And let me see. I don't want to put too much out. Uh, um, out. Okay. I would say that's about good enough right there. So that in a Hispanic household measurements is about maybe three teaspoons. <laughs> three spoonfuls. Don't come for me. So my hands are clean. You'll go ahead and just mix it in. Mix it in. As you see me doing here. And make sure you, you know, break up the sugar because the sugar sometimes can be a little bit, you know, together, which is sugar. And then after you're done mixing it, this looks good. All right, you guys. So after we're done mixing it, mixing the brown sugar with the peaches, I have butter here. We're going to go ahead and throw the butter. And not too much butter, but you just want to add. I added one half of a cup. So you go ahead and just put the butter down there. Then you're gonna go ahead and now you're gonna throw in the peaches with the brown sugar and put that down there. Okay. And so now after you've done that, you're gonna grab your classic yellow cake mix. It doesn't have to be this brand. It could be any type of classic yellow cake mix. Or you can use Bisquick, because I know a lot of people say that they don't use this, they use Bisquick. So you go ahead and open this up. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, that just blew up all up in my face, you guys. You already know me. So you want to go ahead and now I would go ahead and start evenly pouring the cake mix so it starts to cover right so then as you do half of that so that i've done half right now you're going to get some of my twist to it the graham crack graham cracker crumbs <laughs> ideals meal so you grab some of these crumbs i'm sorry you guys i should have this stuff open some of the crumbs you'll go ahead and start to pour as well and this is going to give it that crisp i like that crisp on top so then go ahead and add that and i would say that's about good and if you guys can only see my damn shirt is filled with this stuff and then finish to add on your cake mix so then add on the cake mix all right we're going to add it on and then we're going to go ahead and flatten this out but I'll finish up adding this, all right. So now we're gonna flatten it out. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and just flatten out the cake mix. So it's not like a big old hill, how do you see it here? Not that hard to do. I think your little five-year-olds can do this if they wanted to make mom some uh, peach cobbler, Diana Puro Guanajuato's style. And do you see how the cake mix and the brown sugar is mixing together as I'm doing this. This is exactly how you want it to look. All right. Okay, so we'll go ahead and be right back. All right, All right you guys, so as you guys see here, we're gonna use two sticks of butter. Um, once again, make sure that it's, they are the sticks butter, not the park away. It has to be the stick. So you want to go ahead and you want to start to cut them up in, I would say, pretty thick slices. See how I'm doing that here? Pretty thick slices, you guys. All right. And we'll go ahead and do that to the next one and we'll be back. All right, you guys, so as you guys can see here, I did go ahead and cut these up. Make sure, please, that they are a thick slice. So then you can start adding them in here. There's no specific order. Just kind of spread them out. Spread them out. 
I hope you guys get to make this. And if you have already made it, you know, let me know a twist that you guys do. Alex had came over here right now and mentioned, how about we, if we would have added blueberries, that probably would have been bomb. So we'll go ahead and add the butter. Okay. And we'll go ahead and add another one. This is what's gonna be for the crust, right? We'll push that one over at this one, and then we'll add this one in the middle. All right, so we are, voila, easy, simple. So as you guys seen, I added the butter pieces to the top. So now I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. Oh, come on, Diane. All right, so we're gonna close this up as you see me doing here. And we are going to let this, we're gonna put this on high and we are gonna let it cook for two and a half hours. So put your timers now and we will be back. All right, you guys, so it has been two hours and a half. So we're now gonna go ahead and um, open it up. Oh wow, that looks fabulous. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for, I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna let it sit. Um, so I'm gonna turn it off and let it sit for 45 minutes. So we'll go ahead and see the finish reveal as soon as we come back. All right, you guys, so I have, uh, it was in the crock pot, remember, for two hours and 30 minutes. Now it's been sitting for 45 minutes. And here we go. Look at that right there. Ooh. Wow, this smells delicious. So we're going to go ahead and we'll go ahead and cut through it. Oh, wow. I oh, wow. It... I didn't feel in the spoon. So we'll it's okay. I mean, it's not perfect. We're not Betty Crocker. Yes, look at that right there. A little extra. Mm-hmm. And we'll go ahead and show you guys, look at. Oh, this looks so delicious and it smells delicious. Oh, wow. And then of course. We're gonna top it off. We're gonna top it cream. off. Yes. You wanna put that ice cream on there, y'all? There yes. you go. So go ahead, Alex is gonna try it. I'm gonna tell you if this tastes nasty. No, I'm just she kidding. gonna tell us the truth. <laughs> okay. Oh, my good. God. Okay. Oh my God. Mm. So this is something you guys wanna definitely try out. Please let me know if you try this recipe, you guys. You guys will Ooh. definitely like this stuff. That is good. It's so buttery and sweet. Yes, you guys. We'll close it out here. Thank you guys for the love and the support once again. And I will see you on the next one. If you guys have any three ingredient crock pot recipes, please comment them below. Let me know your guys' um, three ingredient. My mouth is watery. <laughs> Let me know your guys' three ingredient crock pot recipe. I would love to make it mm. and try it. Thanks. Thank you guys. <laughs> Alex is already taking the bowl. Look, it's gone. <laughs> she said, mm, bye. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs>